Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Yes, we are starting this video in black and white because I did play the Palidopoly game and it was a random assortment of colors that I had to throw on my face and I don't want you to see it until the end. But I did want to just introduce the video, chat about the products that you're gonna see in this collection. I will get into the rules and stuff once we get into the video, but I just wanted to start this video by showing you swatches of everything. I filmed those swatches, obviously those will be in color. So we can just chat about those really quick. And then we can get into playing the game. I created the look that you see here. I do plan on at some point playing with this again and creating a look out of my own brain with this palette because I'm really excited to play with it some more. And yeah, let's just hop into it. At the moment, that I'm filming this. They haven't announced a release date yet, but I will have all of those launch details down below. And I do have an affiliate code with the brand. It's Batty Bean if you wanna save some money. I will make a commission off of that code and I do appreciate it if you use it, but no pressure. You can use it on anything on their site, whether it's this launch or other things you might have your eye on. There are two sets of lashes in this collection. There's a smaller pair and a fluffier pair. Magnetic lashes are something I'm not familiar with. This is my first time ever playing with them, but that's what we have in this collection here. We have four eye brushes in this collection. Key one is a bigger, fluffier brush. It's gonna be great for just like big, fluffy crease work, like using a light shade, kind of slathering it all over. Key two is a smaller blending brush. This will be nicer for a little bit more detail, but it's still quite fluffy. Key three is our lid shade. It's just gonna be your typical packet on the lid. It does have some flatness to it, so this can also work for cut creasy stuff. And then P4 is just a little pencil brush. I really like how small this one is. These are very soft brushes. I think they're cute. I also like the print on all of these. I am here for this bright kind of like 80s cartoony kind of situation. I think it's really cute. That's like 80s, early 90s, that kind of zone. It reminds me of the print that you see in bowling alley carpets or skate station carpets, things like that, and I love it. There are four lip products in the mix. We have three liquid lipsticks and one gloss. We have the shades Polly, Strawberry Shortcake, Teddy, and Hologram. Hologram is that gloss. And then finally, we have the actual palette itself, the Palette Opoly palette. I feel like Palladopoly is such a mouthful. I feel like there's some other words we could have done instead of Palladopoly. It's a mouthful. I don't know what a better one would be. <laughs> My husband said palette pursuit, like trivial pursuit. <laughs> but <laughs> I would say palette bingo, honestly. But you know, it is what it is. It's very colorful, very chaotic. We have 24 various shades. We have different mattes and shimmers. I really enjoy Ace Butte's formula and it did get even better when they revamped the formula. Gosh, has it been like a year and a half now? It's already been a little while since they revamped their formula. Um, I love the colors in here, so I don't wanna babble too long though because I'm sure we've passed the point where the swatches are overlaying. We will chat more about it at the end, but in the meantime, I do wanna just hop in and actually get into the meat of the video, create my look, play the game, all that fun stuff. Oh, but really quick, my earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy and this choker I've had for a long time. Okay, I think I've said it all. Let's just hop in, play the game, and then we'll regroup at the end. All right, hello. I figured I would just kind of go into the rundown of how this game works and kind of how I'm gonna do it because I have to do it slightly different than what the actual rules say because of space. <laughs> but I'm gonna break it down for you. I have my board game right here in this box contains the palette, the instructions, the scorecard, all that good stuff, the actual playing cards, things like that. I have the instruction booklet here. There are instructions for both one player and two players. This is the two or more player side. I won't be doing that because I simply don't have a real life friend to play with <laughs> and that's okay maybe you do and then this side has the the solo player kind of stuff I'm not gonna read all of these point by point because that is boring I'm just gonna give you the overall rundown of the game basically the whole point their whole shtick is they want you to just get out of your comfort zone try something new play around with colors maybe you haven't before or placements that you haven't before as far as putting certain colors in certain spots it's essentially palette bingo broken down into an actual physical game, which is pretty cool. And maybe for some people who maybe they aren't super 
current with YouTube like challenges and stuff, but they keep up with certain brands. Maybe you've never heard of Palette Bingo and this is like a super innovative, exciting thing for you. So basically they want you to lay the cards down like this. They want you to shuffle them and then spread them out. I'm not gonna do that because I just do not have the space and I feel like you wouldn't be able to see what I'm drawing anyway. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna just shuffle these and then just randomly draw two until I get a match. Cause that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have it all spread out. You're gonna draw two cards, try to get a match. For instance, say you draw these two, it's a match. You're basically looking for the like symbol on it to be the same thing, the color, yada, yada, yada. And then you're gonna determine your winning card and that's gonna be based on the card value down here. So in this case, this would be the winning card because it has a card value of two. So I would put this one back in the stack. Normally you would lay it back down exactly where you found it in your spread. I'll just shuffle it back into my cards for the purpose of filming. I feel like that's easier for me. And then basically this is the shade that I'm gonna be using. So basically I'd be using this shade neon in this sense. And since this is winning shade one, it would be for my crease. So that specific shade would go in my crease. No questions asked. I feel like that's what makes this a little bit different than a traditional palette bingo is it's also determining where you put the shade, which is pretty cool and exciting. And I will be honest, I'm a little scared because usually at least with palette bingo, even if I get the most outrageous color combination, I can control where I put everything. This one, I have to put everything specifically, either the crease, the outer corner, the inner corner, the lower lash line or the lid. And if you're someone who's not familiar with all those terms, they did include a little cheat sheet on where all of those are. But basically I'm gonna keep keep doing that until I get through all five of the different points of my eye and then it will be the very last little bit for determining which lashes and lips I wear. I will basically add up all of the card values of the cards that I've drawn and that's gonna determine what I use. If my total card value is 10 or more, I'm gonna use the longer, fluffier lashes. And if it's less than that, I'm gonna use these smaller lashes. And then for lips, if my card is 10 or more, I'm gonna use the bold lip color. So either that pink or red that I showed at the beginning, or if it's less than, I'm gonna use one of the neutrals, either the gloss or the neutral lips. So. That's kind of the plan. This could go really well, but this could also be very scary, but I'm excited. I think it's cute. Oh, and I guess one other rule that I didn't mention is if you do draw like two cards that don't match, like those two, I would just put them back in. So I'm basically just gonna keep drawing until I have two matches. So I'm just gonna start shuffling these guys up until they are nice and mixed up. And then we're gonna dive in. And I think I'm just gonna literally do this one shade at a time since they all have an assigned spot anyways. And we're just gonna hope for the best. Who even knows what's gonna happen? This is a very chaotic color story and I don't mean that in a bad way. I actually really like the randomness of it. I think it's weird and there's lots of like grungy colors in the mix, but I don't know how this is gonna go. This is truly up to the palette bingo gods <laughs> in this sense. You know, maybe I'll make space. I'll make space. I'm gonna do it the right way. You just aren't gonna be able to see it. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I only have one camera and I'm simply not going to move it back and forth. Do you realize how much time that would take? <laughs> I feel like this is such an odd video. <laughs> all right, I am just laying these out. I actually have them all laid out on this giant monstrosity of a Palladopoly box. I realized if I have room to fit this box on my desk somehow, I have room to put these cards on top of said box. I've already been filming for 10 minutes and we've gotten absolutely nowhere. This is chaos. Okay, I have them all laid out. I'm obviously not gonna be able to show you me drawing them, but I will show you the cards as I pick them up and I will put them back in their exact same spot if there's not a match. I have no reason to cheat, but I will let you know if this look turns out horrible. I will either throw a giant wings liner on or wear glasses or do both because I do work today and I don't need to go in looking crazy. All right, I'm gonna grab just two random cards. We do not have a match. So I'm gonna put these back. Okay, Vogue and Ninja Turtle. We did get this one already, so I'm not gonna put it down just to pick it back up because I know where the other one is. So we have Friends and Ninja Turtle. Friends is the winner. So I'm gonna write that down on my little paper here. Crease shade, Friends. I don't even know what Friends looks like. I don't know if it's a shimmer. I don't know if it's a matte. And the card value for that is three. You love my beautiful handwriting? <laughs> I have the worst handwriting of all time and I have no shame. So I'm gonna put Ninja Turtle back where I found it. And then we're gonna look for friends. Oh, this will work good in the crease. A nice cute purple. I can work with that. I need to prime my eye though. I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I'm so curious where this look is gonna go. We're off to a good start. A matte in the crease, like that makes me happy. We could get all shimmers for everything else and I think I could make it work. 
The only thing that might be a problem is if I get a very light shimmer as my outer corner shade. I think that could be kind of weird, but I think pretty much anything else I could roll with. I'm gonna use the P1 brush from the collection. And I'm just gonna start going to town in this crease. Ooh, pigment. Let me wipe that off a little bit. And that's a really cute shade. All right, so this is kind of where I'm at. I just spread it through the crease. Didn't take this on the lower lash line. It's in the outer corner a little bit, but that's just so the outer corner shade can blend in. Moving right along, this next draw is gonna determine my outer corner shade. So let's figure that out. We got queen and we got digital pet, not a match. We got big hair, and then the one that I already knew about, digital pet. So looks like digital pet is going to be our winner. <gasps> that works so good, oh my gosh. It's a dark purple. I swear to you, I'm not cheating. Palette bingo gods are on my side so far. I think literally anything else they threw at me, it's gonna turn out good. Just write this down on my little card, card value four. So far, we're inching closer and closer to the bold realm which like part of me wants the bold higher card value number at the end because I want the bigger lashes, but the other part of me really wanted to play with that gloss, so I want the lower number. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen anymore because it's already at a seven and even if I got a card value of one for all three of the others, it's gonna be a 10, so. We're getting bold today, folks. But all right, Digital Pet. I'm gonna use the other little brush, P2 right there. Oh, I'm so excited, how lucky. Like of all the color combinations I could have gotten, that is, that is good. Ooh, and I love purple eyeshadow, so this is really exciting. I am gonna smudge this just a little bit right down here, cause for me, that's also still part of the outer corner, even though on the diagram, that's like inching into the lower lash line. I, I like to have a little bit there. I'm gonna modify it a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, I like that purple. I'm just gonna use that first shade just to blend a little bit so that it all flows together. Nice and seamless. Okay, moving on to determine my lid shade. Let's just start grabbing from up here. We have VHS, we have shoulder pads, not a match. Ooh, we have fanny pack and I just grabbed another lip glossy one, VHS. So we got VHS. Let me write that down on my little card really quick. Card value four. Yeah, we're getting the bold ones today. Goodness, we already have a score of 11. Let's see, what is VHS? Oh, it's this one right here. You know, I haven't even really taken into account the other shades that we would have gotten. I don't know if I even remember what they were. I think it was Ninja Turtle was gonna be my crease shade. What would that have been? Oh, I would have loved that. I was so excited about the purple, but I would have loved that. <laughs> And then my other option would have been queen. Oh, that would have been kind of weird though. That would have been a little weird. I wouldn't have been mad about Ninja Turtle with a uh, digital pet though. And then what would fanny pack have been? Oh, fanny pack would have just been this. I'm happier with VHS for the lid than fanny pack. I feel like that would have just looked so boring, you know? It would have, I mean, it would have been very bold and colorful, don't get me wrong. And VHS isn't as colorful, but there would have been no dimension, you know? It would have all just been matte. So I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer, I use this with every shimmer, and I'm gonna take the packing brush, the P3. This will be great. I'm gonna do kind of a cut creasey situation. I'm just gonna pop some of this glitter primer on the lid, and then just kind of pretend to carve out where I want it to be, like so. So far I am just shocked that I got such a normal look. I really can't think of anything that, I mean, I guess if we get like the dark matte brown in the inner corner, that would be weird. And I honestly might cheat if it gets to that point. Like if this look is so good and then we get that shade, I simply might not do it <laughs> because that will look scary. All right, taking VHS on that same sticky brush. Let's just go to town. That is so shiny, love. This is pretty amusing to do. I don't know how much replay value this has but I think this is fun. And I could see like, maybe if you are not a makeup YouTube person and you just enjoy makeup in your own time for fun, I think you would probably get some enjoyment out of this. Maybe even like with friends or something. I probably just won't get as much like replay value out of this personally, just because I'm constantly filming a million things and playing with different things. So I'll only be able to reach for this so many times. You know what I mean? As unfortunate as that is. But I think the average everyday person who just wants makeup just for the fun of it 
I think you might really enjoy this because it is kind of fun. But on the flip side, you could also just go traditional palette bingo style with any eyeshadow palette that you have and just look up a random number generator. <laughs> that is always an option too. Okay, moving on. I guess we're doing the inner corner now because that's next. Oh, I don't know what to grab. I'm nervous. So we don't have a match. We have slime and purple rain. Then we have scrunchie and boy band. I know that some of these I've already seen before, but now I don't remember where they are. If I was playing this by myself without talking, it would be a lot easier. Oh, I, I remember this one, acid wash, boy band. Okay, well we got boy band. I'm curious what both of those are. Let me write boy band down really quick. Oh no. Well, I mean, boy band is this one. I'm happy that it's a shimmer. Acid wash would have been better, but still not ideal. Honestly, the only things I would have loved to have are Walkman, Scrunchy. I would have even been fine with this like matte yellow or even the bright pink would have been cute. There were few options. It was very unlikely. I think I can make boy band work. I'm just gonna grab the pencil brush from the collection, the P4. We're just not gonna go super ham with it. You know, we're just gonna do a light little dusting of it. Ooh, I am probably gonna top my face highlighter on top of this. That doesn't look good at all. That does not look good at all. <laughs> but I'll do that at the end. I'll leave it for now. And then at the end, I will pop my... <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks bad. Like what a small detail that made it look so weird. It's not even that it's blue. I don't mind that it's blue. It just, it's so dark compared to like what I have going on right next to it. It's an odd contrast. It's not the worst thing though. It's better than the matte brown. Let's see what the lower lash line has in store. We got mixtape and shoulder pads. I think I've already drawn those before. We got as if and mas mag macarena. I almost said mascara. <laughs> okay, well, as if is the winner. Let's see what macarena was too after I write this down. Not that I really need to anymore. It's a card value of three. Okay, um, not probably my first choice for the lower lash line. I would have preferred something darker or shimmery, but we're going bright yellow. What would have Macarena have been? Oh, it would have just been this. I mean, that would have been fine, but that would have been very safe. Uh, let's just make this one work. I'm just gonna wipe off that pencil brush I just used. And let's just do a little pop of yellow down here. I don't mind yellow though. I think that could be fun. This is still kind of a weird look. It was going very well. And then these last two shades kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. I don't mind the yellow though. I think once I top my face highlight over my inner corner, I think it'll be better. Yeah, I actually really don't mind this yellow lower lash line. I think that's kind of fun. It's just that inner corner that we have to take care of. Okay, I'm gonna fix my inner corner now. I'm gonna use my Give Me Glow White Noise Highlighter. That's what I put on my face today. I'm just gonna tap that over top of the blue just for some lightness, you know? See how much better that is? I need to blend them together, but that's so much better than the dark blue. I'm actually quite excited to play with this like on my own terms, like create a look out of my own brain. I don't mind this though, but now we have to tally it up. Let's see what my final score was. We got a score of 18. So we are doing the fuller, longer lashes and the bold lip color. Uh oh, Pfft. I just lifted the box <laughs> to grab the things out of and all the cards just fell off. I told you I didn't really have space for this. So these are our lashes right here. So I'll be using the big ones, which does make me happy. And this is like a magnetic liner, like lash glue kind of thing, which I've never used before. So I'm gonna give that a shot as well. And then these are my lip choices. Oh, I don't even know which one. Honestly, the red's probably better. I think the pink, hmm, I can't decide. I'm gonna have to think on that for a minute. These were my other options. I would have, Probably preferred the gloss. <laughs> that would have been my first pick, but it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up though. I don't like doing my lashes on camera because it's very hard. I have to have a mirror really close to my face. So I'm going to just finish that up, throw on an eye pencil, probably a yellow just to go with my lower lash line, throw on my big lashes, one of those bright lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, I would like to make it known that I'm very not happy <laughs> with this right now. This lip is not my first pick with this. I don't mind this lip by itself. I think it's kind of a fun color. I don't wear bright pink all the time, but I do like it on occasion. I just don't love it with this look per se. There's a high chance I'm gonna take this off and replace it with a gloss for the purpose of taking an Instagram picture for this video. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, there's that. And I don't know if I like magnetic lashes. I kind of struggled with these. I know it was only my first time, but I don't know. I didn't like the fact that I had to kind of lay down this black eyeliner first um, because I wasn't planning on doing liner with this look. I don't know. I'm kind of having trouble with these. Like they aren't laying the way that I'm used to with regular lashes. I feel like if you're someone who wants to get into lashes but you haven't started yet, magnetic might be the way to go. Cause it is very simple. You don't have to wait for glue to dry. But if you're someone like me, who's very used to just putting on lashes in the traditional way, this is a very odd way to do it. I don't know how I feel. I like the lashes themselves. I just, I might start just putting regular glue on them when I use them, you know what I mean? I feel like you can do that. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. I'm just having a, a little bit of trouble getting them to like connect in the right spots. <laughs> but yeah, this is how the look came out. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. I feel like the eye look did come together pretty well. It's just the lip that's kind of throwing me off. But it's not the worst. This could have gone a horribly different direction. I do think this was fun. It was a silly way to do my makeup, spend time. It made for a fun video and I, I don't know, I liked it. It was fun. Let's zoom out though, and I will give you my thoughts on the collection so far. All right, so here we are. I'm just not feeling these lashes. I can't get them to lay the same way that I usually do. I don't think I'm gonna wear these all day long. I think in the future, I'm just gonna play with these like regular lashes and throw normal lash glue on. But again, they could be really useful if you're a beginner and you already don't have the how to use glue part of your brain. <laughs> Uh, maybe you'd like them a lot, but the lashes, I like the fluffiness of them, but I don't like the magnet part. I just can't get it to do the thing. And I did two layers of it, like the instructions said. It's just not, not my favorite. <laughs> I do quite like these brushes. They're soft and fluffy, and I think they're pretty universal brushes. I'm sure I'll grab these fairly often, honestly. The lips are fine. Obviously, I only wore one today. This is such a bright pink. I keep getting like almost a little taken aback at how bright it is. It feels very lightweight, it's pretty comfortable. Um, I've worn their liquid lipsticks all day before and I don't really have a problem with them. I am a little more excited about the gloss though, so I think I am gonna take it off and put this on when I take a picture for Instagram for this video. Yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> I do think they're fun options, but I will say for the bold options of like bright pink and bright red, I don't know if those were even the best bold options for this palette, you know what I mean? I don't mind purple and pink together or even purple and red, but a lot of these combinations, I feel like I just wouldn't personally pick bright pink or bright red first. Maybe that's just me. And I don't know what better bold options there would have been. Maybe I would have even said like a deep brown or like a dark, dark purple. That could have been really fun and still bold. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the bright pink and red. That's kind of where I stand. But I do like these tones of neutral. I think they're cute. I like that they're not too light and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the palette itself, I didn't have any issues with the formula. I thought the mattes blended really nice and the shimmer that I used all over the lid is quite lovely. I'm excited to play with this some more. I am so into Ninja Turtle. I wanna play with that shade so bad. I, I like this. I don't know if it's my favorite color story of all time, but I do think it's fun, it's chaotic, it's unique, it's something different and I'm excited to play with it some more. Now, do I think you need to buy the whole palette Opoly game? That's gonna totally depend on your makeup preferences and how you like to spend your time. If you feel like you think you would get a lot of use out of playing the game multiple times and getting endless color combinations, go for it. But again, like I said before, I have to be honest, this is essentially just palette bingo, but with like a scorecard and physical cards. Like you can obviously just do a random number generator, one through 24. Even if you wanted to do them in an order, you could generate your crease shade, then generate your outer corner shade. So I can't sit here and be like, yes, you absolutely need this game to play this type of a game. You really don't. I do think it's fun. Maybe it would be a fun gifting thing to give somebody who's into makeup and maybe they also like games. It, it's, a, it's a sticky one, but I do like the palette. If you're into the palette, I think you'd probably enjoy it. Um, I like it so far, at least. Obviously I've only used five shades, but so far, so good. I've personally never had a problem with Ace Bitae's formula though. Yeah, that's kind of where we stand. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was 
feel like kind of chaotic to film, but it was fun. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, why don't you just leave me a random slew of emojis? I feel like that's the most fitting for this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I am Baddie Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you wanna see more of my videos, I'm posting most days over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Ooh, I feel like I need coffee to get myself in the zone. I'm also fairly confident that I have a cat hair on my nose. I just can't find it. Life with five cats. This is, this is all I do is pick cat hair off of myself. I found it. It's always the most invisible hair too. Never fails.